Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I am super excited because I just got my Teddy Bees haul from the September pre-order. This morning, it's Friday, the day after <laughs> Thanksgiving. So first off, I just want to say I hope you all had a fabulous and, you know, memorable Thanksgiving. If you do celebrate, I hope it was a great day for you all. Mine was amazing. Couldn't ask for more. And um, if you're celebrating Black Friday, good luck. I hope you get everything you're looking for. But yes, I feel like I'm one of the last people to get my Teddy Bees haul. So I've been anxious all week for this to show up. And it's finally here. And I actually have time to film and I don't have to wait. So I figure we'll just go ahead and jump right in. I unboxed everything just so I wouldn't have to deal with doing that on camera. But I have not smelled anything. So this is going to be a long one, you guys. As usual, it's just an obnoxious <laughs> Teddy Bees haul for me. I just can't help it. She, Her blends and her wax is just phenomenal. So get comfortable and I hope you're ready to hang out for a bit and we'll get started. So as usual, you get this very nice thank you card with um, contact information, her handles and all that. So if you need to pause here to take a look at that, I'm not gonna read and go over everything because we'll be here all day probably as it is with the amount that I have here. Um, but yeah, go ahead and pause here if you need to look at this information or if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. But I'm sure if, you're, if you, you're watching this, you probably are familiar with Teddy Bees. If not, I'll be happy to help you with anything. You can just comment down below. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with uh, my samples. The first one I have here is Christmas Cookies, which this is one that I had, that I picked up. So let's see, this is like, if I remember correctly, it's pine and like freshly baked cookies. And this is really nice. You get like a sugar cookie dough, a cinnamon sugar. You do get a little bit of pine, but not something that would be offensive if you're not somebody who doesn't enjoy tree scents. So yes. And speaking of tree, I have my Christmas tree here that we got last weekend, but we're, it, we are waiting for it to settle in and the branches to, you know, calm down a little bit so we can decorate. So hopefully we'll do that tomorrow. But anyway. This is really nice. I'm glad I picked this up. I actually think this is when I got a loaf in, so I'm glad. Next one is a tried and true for me. This is Surfside Sweet Shop. And this is just a really nice, rich, decadent vanilla bakery. I do have some of this in my collection, and there were so many on this pre-order list that I wanted to get that I haven't tried before, so I actually didn't get it. So I'm happy I got at least another little sample, so thank you so much. You guys, I don't even know where to begin. I'm actually overwhelmed, so, um, Jesus. All right, we'll start with the souffles. Just moving closer here. All right, the first one I have here is Pumpkin Woods. This is Pumpkin Spice, Sandalwood, Patchouli, Tobacco, Palo Santo, and Cold Winter Woods. As soon as I, I was trying to like stay away from fall scents because I knew by the time that we got this, it'd be, you know, around holiday season and fall, you know, I'm pretty much done with my fall melting at this point. But when I read that this had patchouli and tobacco, I was like, sold. <laughs> so let's see. This is beautiful. I'm not going to go ahead and show the glitter on all of them because I have so much here and I really don't want to make this an obnoxiously long video. But if you buy from Teddy B's, you know that she decorates them all so beautifully. This is really pretty. So you do get like a pumpkin spice, but it's not something that's overwhelming the blend. So I actually feel like I could melt this throughout the winter too and get away with it. Definitely get a beautiful blend of the Palo Santo and the tobacco. I don't get much patchouli. You do get a woodsy note, but I'm not getting like, patchouli is usually very distinct. I love patchouli, but I usually could pick it out right away. This is nice, beautiful. I really like this. I don't even get patchouli much on the bottom. So I think if you're afraid of patchouli, this is one you could try and still enjoy. If you're looking for something like nice woodsy blend that you could warm throughout the winter. It does have a little bit of the pumpkin spice, but to be honest, if I didn't see that it said pumpkin, I probably would just think it's just like a spice, like a cinnamon brown sugar. So that's really pretty. I like this one a lot. Next, we have sugar chestnuts and apple butter. This is apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. Let's 
again, beautiful. Mm, oh my gosh, that is so good. Right away, I'm getting like a sweet, warm apple butter. Definitely brown sugar, but this is very sweet to me, which I like. Definitely apple butter and brown sugar on top. I'm not getting clove or spice or really any nuttiness on the top portion. So let's see if this one will pop out. This is just so warm and cozy. Okay, on the bottom, I'm definitely getting the chestnuts. And a little bit of like cinnamon sugar is what it smells like. It's not spicy at all. So if you're afraid of clove, don't, don't worry about that. In this blend, I'm not picking it up. It probably will come out on warm, but this is just such a warm, cozy bakery. This is beautiful. Honestly, this is something I would warm on a day like today where I'm evidently still in my pajamas and you just want something warm and cozy for like a chill day. I think this is so beautiful. Mm. It's like a warm hug. That is so pretty. I don't have much apple bakery in my collection, so I'm really excited to have this. All right. Next is brown butter and praline. There's been a lot of talk of this in the Facebook group, so I'm curious to see what I think of it. This is a blend of praline candy, vanilla cream, toasted pecans, melted butter, and the slightest warmth of cinnamon in the background. Let's see. Okay, I can see what people are saying that this comes off soapy because it it does it's this is coming off body care to me like a sweet like a sweet body care scent is what it's coming off to me it doesn't even really smell like bakery I definitely it it almost smells like like a pear like pear body care or something yeah and there isn't any pear in here I'm not getting any nuttiness. I'm getting a little bit of butter and cinnamon, but to me, it's coming off like it smells like a juicy pear fragrance, like something you would have in like a body lotion from Bath and Body Works or something. That's what I'm getting from this. I don't think it's bad at all. It's just not what I thought it would be. And that's typical. That's what Tiffany said. She said, once you warm it, you'll really get the notes that, are, that it's supposed to smell like. So I'm excited to see how it transforms. I'm not going to write this one off obviously I'm open to warming it and seeing how it does so we'll see I'll probably try it out in a smaller space like my bedroom first just to see you know how it'll do and how it'll transform and then go from there so that is browns butter and praline all right <clears throat> next is morning cup of Christmas so this is vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade with a hint of fresh pine. So this one I saw offered last year and I didn't pick it up. But this year, after I saw people raving about it, I was like, I need to try this. I love pine. I like chai scents. I'm not the biggest fruity person, but I think mixed with the chai and the pine that I could, you know, enjoy it. So we'll see. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm getting a combination first of the apple and cranberry, which I think are so pretty together. That's really pretty. This almost smells like the cra like a juicy cranberry and apple that you would almost have in like a potpourri or like a holiday spice, you know, type scent, which makes sense for what this is supposed to be. Not really much chai. I am getting a tiny bit of pine. Just the ever so slight hint of the chai spices. But mainly this is, to me, juicy cranberry, not a tart cranberry, like a juicy cranberry, a nice juicy apple, and a bit of pine with the slightest hint of like a, like the chai spice, like a cinnamon. This is pretty. I like that. I don't know if I'll need more of it because I don't know when, it, when I go to warm it if it'll be too fruity for me. But I will enjoy the souffle and we'll see what happens. I may pick up another souffle or so, but this is really pretty. Morning cup of Christmas. Next is Kiss Me Goodnight. So this is Koji, Koji, 
Cozy cashmere blankets, warm, slighty woody notes mixed with vanilla, hints of plums, hot tea, and warm amber. So last pre-order, she offered Lady Lena and there was another blender too that had plum in it that were absolutely beautiful. I mean, I've never really had plum in wax much, but her plum oils that she used in the last pre-order were just so beautiful and juicy. And then when I saw, this one really intrigued me with the plum, the hot tea, the cashmere. I was like, this just has to be a beautiful, cozy fragrance. This is such a beautiful color too, like the periwinkle with the silver. So let's see. Mm, her cashmere is just so warm and comforting. I'm getting cashmere and vanilla. Amber, very much so. So the top to me is heavy on the cashmere, vanilla, and amber. It's like a beautiful mixture of all them. And then, oh, the bottom's different than the top. The bottom, I'm getting a, the ever so slight woodiness. I'm not getting tea. This, a little pinch of the juicy plum. Wow, this is interesting. To me, the top and bottom are very different from one another. So I'm curious to see how this does when it melts. So that is Kiss Me Goodnight. The next souffle I have here, I'm so excited for this one, you guys. This is Harvest Cider and Birch. So this is plums, dark cherries, vanilla birch, peppered woods, and warm pomegranate cider. So like I just said, I really enjoyed her last pre-order with the, the plum blends. And then I really like pomegranate, but it's not, to me, I don't find it often in wax where it's blended with things that I think I'll enjoy. So when I saw the pomegranate with the plum, I was like, sign me up. And I do enjoy cherry as long as it's not medicinal leaning. So let's see. Vanilla birch, beautiful. Oh my God, this is stunning. Okay. What fruit am I getting? I'm getting, it's very fruity. I'm getting vanilla birch and with a beautiful juicy fruit combination. The vanilla birch is so pretty in here. I'm getting honestly a beautiful combination of all of the plums, the juicy dark cherry and the pomegranate. This isn't much cider to me, to be honest. I'm getting the vanilla birch with the fruit. And let's see the bottom. Okay, the bottom I'm getting cider. It is pomegranate and cider on the bottom. Peppered woods, I'm not really getting. This is a beautiful combination of cider, birch, and juicy fruits. This is really pretty. I would warm this on like a sunny winter day. I don't think this would be just fall specific for me. I think if we have like a nice sunny day in the winter, I would warm this too, which is really nice. So that's Harvest Cider and Birch. Next is Meraxis. This is sweet plum, saffron, black peppercorns, cashmere cream, and sweet vanilla roasted pine cones. Again, <laughs> with the plum. I really like her cashmere cream and then you can't go wrong with roasted pine cones. I think you could pretty much put roasted pine cones with anything and it'll smell amazing. Ooh, this is pretty. This is like a sensual scent. Like a beautiful, sexy, sensual woman scent. That's leans feminine to me at least. So the sweet plum I'm getting right away and I feel like it's sticking out to me because I know how much I love it. Definitely getting peppercorn, so it's you get the sweet plum, but you're also getting a little kick of the like spiciness to give it a little bit of depth with the peppercorn. Cashmere cream, it's not dominant, but you could definitely tell it's giving this like a warm background so that the black peppercorn isn't making it too spicy. Roasted pine cones. Yes, you do get the roasted pine cones, but not much. I would say the sweet plum with the peppercorn, I'm getting more so than the roasted pine cones. You get more of the roasted pine cone the longer you smell it, but it doesn't stick out to me at first. To me, this is mainly sweet plum with peppercorn and cashmere. I'm hoping the um, roasted pine cone comes out more on warm because I love that note, but regardless, this is really pretty. Oh, it's beautiful. 
So that is Meraxis. You guys, I'm probably going to say that all of these blends are beautiful because I think Tiffany could melt the, uh, blend the scent of a dirty sock with something and make it smell good. So it's just unbelievable. She has such talent. That was really nice. The next one here is Sugar Spice and Fireside. So this is the smell of snickerdoodles and oatmeal cookies baking in a wood fire oven. Mmm. Okay. I'm getting punched with the scent of oatmeal cookies. This one's very strong. Very strong. It's a very beautiful spiced oatmeal cookie. And you are, you're getting a bit of like a, like a fireplace type scent in the background. It's not smoky, but you're getting like the earthiness of like a crackling wood. Like it's giving it like a little bit of an earthy element and keeping it from being just a plain bakery scent. Snickerdoodle, I'm not getting. I'm getting oatmeal and like the oatmeal cookie spices. Like the oatmeal, like the oatmeal cookie and the spices that are in an oatmeal cookie with like the woodsy, earthy scent of what would be the wood fire oven. And even more so on the bottom. The bottom to me is basically just a wood fire oven. I'm not getting much of the oatmeal on the bottom. This is pretty. This is like another very cozy, warm bakery scent. It's going to be beautiful on like a snowy day and you just want your house to just smell so cozy and inviting. Where this is even beautiful to have warming when you have guests over. I just think it would make your space seem so inviting. So... That is Sugar Spice and Fireside. Next is Catacomb of the Witch. And I'm laughing because I already see it. This is another plum one. I think I must have just gotten all the plum scents this time. So this is Dark Plums, Rich Vanilla, Black Amber, Bonfire Bliss, and Vanilla Woods. Sounds amazing. Okay, let's see. This is like the same color as Meraxis. Oh my God. The vanilla woods in this is reading cashmere cedar to me. I don't know if it's because the vanilla woods with the black amber, but you guys, I love cashmere cedar. I think it's one of my top woods oils that could be used in blends. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. The vanilla woods, you're getting the black amber and the juicy plum with this. Oh my God. This would be a beautiful woman's perfume. Oh my God. I need more of this. This is so beautiful. Rich vanilla. I'm not really getting on top. Oh my God. This is stunning. I need more of this one. The top is reading the same as the bottom to me. So I'm not really getting rich vanilla. It's a beautiful bonfire bliss. Actually, am I getting that? Not really. You get a little bit of smoke, like a little, little bit of smokiness in the background, in the back, but it's mainly the vanilla woods, the amber, and the plum. This is stunning. Oh my God. I need more of that ASAP. You guys, let me know what you think of Catacomb of the Witch if you got this one. This, this is probably my favorite one that I've smelled so far. Wow. That is stunning. <clears throat> Next is Cookies for Santa. So this is a blend of frosted sugar cookies and milk and cookies. So I'll tell you right now, this was a last minute add to the cart. Not that it doesn't sound amazing, it does, but from my experience, her milk and cookies blend is pretty light to me, even if I've let it cure for close to a year. So I was pretty hesitant on getting this. But when I heard everybody raving about it and how good it is, I was like, you know what? Just pick up a souffle to try that way. If it ends up being a dud, you don't have too much, you know, you didn't buy too large of a quantity of it. This is really pretty. I'm glad I'm trying it. Oh, I think I just got glitter up my nose. Okay. It's a beautiful combination of both. I definitely get her milk and cookies blend because I'm familiar with what it, sound, what it sounds like, what it smells like on its own. And then you get that warmth of the frosted sugar cookie. Oh, this is so nice. The bottom to me is mainly frosted sugar cookie. The top I'm getting a good 
So I'm hoping that this one will perform a little bit better than just milk and cookies on its own. I also have her signature sugar cookies on its own, but I haven't melted that to know how it performs. But fingers crossed this one will do well. This one's delicious. So I'm hoping it does well for me. Next, I'm excited for this one, strawberry trees and cream. So you know anything about me, you know I enjoy any tree scents, especially her Christmas trees and cream. And then this is just Christmas trees and cream blended with strawberry pound cake. So sign me up. I've recently discovered I like my tree blends blended with strawberry. I just finished a souffle of her strawberry birch and it was absolutely gorgeous. So let's see. Oh, this one's fun. It almost looks like the shape of a tree. Ooh, this is pretty. You're still getting the tree elements from the Christmas trees and cream, but it's just sweetened up with the sweetness of the strawberry pound cake. This is pretty. I love how it's a beautiful combo of both. Like you're not getting mainly tree or mainly strawberry. To me, this is beautifully blended. 100%. Love it. So glad I decided to get that. I was on the fence with this one, but then once I warmed my um, strawberry birch souffle and realized how much I loved her strawberry blended with the trees, I decided to go back and get this one. Love it. Okay, you guys, I still have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight souffle, eight or seven souffles to go, and then we still, have, oh God. All right, which is be crazy for eggnog excited about this i've heard a lot of good things so i love her witches be crazy so witches be crazy is birthday cake pecan waffles sugar cookie dough a pinch of cinnamon cinnamon spiced vanilla blended with both eggnog and buttered rum eggnog let's see oh this is pretty i'm definitely getting cinnamon and spice vanilla a bit of the waffles and then you are getting the creaminess of eggnog beautiful you're getting the buttered rum and you're getting this extra sweetness from the vanilla eggnog oh this is really good honestly i think this would be beautiful blended with cookies for santa I think I might do that when I try them out. I think I might mix them, especially because Witches Be Crazy is usually pretty strong. Um, Witches Be Crazy on its own is strong for me. And then the blends that have Witches Be Crazy are strong. So if I am worried, which I am, that the cookies for Santa might not perform, I think this will be able to kick it up a little bit. And I think they'll be a beautiful combo. This is really nice and creamy eggnog. I really like this one. So that's Witches Be Crazy. For eggnog. All right. White Woods and Smoky Vetiver. I haven't seen many people talk about this one, so I'm curious to see what this smells like. This is white oak, cashmere, soft woods, vanilla, palo santo, vetiver, and sweet smoke. Love woodsy blends. I love smoky blends. So this was a no brainer for me. And honestly, now that I think about it, I don't know why I didn't grab this in a larger size. I probably was trying to tame myself. Sorry guys, the lighting is like in and out right now. I was probably trying to tame myself, but I couldn't. Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, definitely a sweet smoke, 100%. I'm getting cashmere and the sweet smoke, Palo Santo. I'm not getting too many woodsy notes. A little bit of the white oak, but to me, this is like a vanilla sweet and smoky scent. This is pretty. Oh, this is really nice. This is going to be really nice. I'm just worried it may be a little bit light um, because it's pretty light right now. I'm going to let this one cure a little bit but I think it's gonna be beautiful once it's ready to warm. So that's beautiful. Let me just close my blinds a little bit because this lighting's irritating me. Hold on. Under control here. All right, 
Sorry, you guys. <laughs> and oh my God, still not 100%, but you know what? We'll just live with it. That's irritating. Okay. Anyway, the next one here is Jax. I'm just going to scooch this way, maybe. Don't mind me. I still have some fall decor up. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my life. <laughs> Um, the next one here is Jax. So this is wet autumn leaves, moss covered oak trees, cedar wood, hinoki smoke lingering off in the distance. <laughs> you guys, I'm laughing because, um, Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris, her reaction to this scent, absolutely, like I was cracking up. She said it smelled like her neighbor's house is on fire. So I'm kind of scared to smell this one. But if I know anything about Tiffany, it's that she knows how to blend and make atmospheric scents. And when I read this description, I feel like I could just close my eyes and I'm outside with auto, the fall and autumn leaves around me. It just rained and my neighbor may be having a bonfire or something. That's what I picture when I read this description. So let's see. Ooh, oh my God, the glitter on here. It's like a matte glitter, but it looks like leaves. That's so pretty. All right. I like this one a lot. Okay. This is almost giving me like a rustic vibe. I'm definitely getting the wet autumn leaves. That's what I'm getting first. This is like a damp outdoorsy blend. Definitely getting the wet autumn leaves. That sticks out to me the most. A little bit of cedar. And the smokiness in this is light but it's present. It's not like a dense smoke. It is like, like a, like a lighter smoke. So it's not like if you picture smoke, it's not like a thick black cloud of smoke. It's like a light airy smoke, but it also, it gives it almost like a, like a pinch of, it kind of is leaning like a tobacco sweetness to me. I like this one. It is a little bit light. I'm going to let this one sit a while, but I like this one a lot. I kind of wish I got more of this one beautiful beautiful but this one's gonna need to sit a while because it is light usually I let my teddy bees sit at least four months before I go ahead and warm them so this one I might wait a little bit longer but that is Jack's love that next I already know I'm gonna love this and I don't know why I didn't get more of this this is witches be crazy for pistachio so this is her Witches Be Crazy, which again is the birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a cinnamon, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla, and then it's blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. <laughs> I'm so disappointed that I didn't get more of this one. I probably was trying to be responsible. So honestly, I give the past Stephanie a pat on the back because... <laughs> Well, not really because this is obnoxious, but for trying to tame it down, I'm proud of myself. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Why didn't I get a tub of this? I love pistachio. This is so good. You get a beautiful sugar cookie dough out of the witches be crazy. To me in this blend, the sugar cookie dough is sticking out the most. The sugar cookie dough and the birthday cake. I'm not getting much of the cinnamon spice vanilla. But you're getting a beautiful, sweet, creamy pistachio. This It's like a dense, like, pistachio cake. This is so pretty. The pistachio is leaning to me more nutty than it is cherry. And I really like that. Sometimes if it leans too cherry, it, it could be off-putting to me. But usually I love pistachio and this is delicious. Oh my god. So good. So, so good. She nailed this. I definitely like this. I like the Witches Be Crazy for eggnog too, but this is definitely more of a me scent. So this is an absolute winner. Next, I have Modern Farmhouse. This one sounds absolutely gorgeous. This is Tonka and Oud, Vanilla Birch, and Egyptian Amber. Sounds like it's gonna be like one of those masculine, cologne cozy type scents that I love. So let's see, is that black or brown glitter? This is pretty, it's very like, rustic looking to me. Wow, this is stunning. 
it does this comes off like a man like a beautiful men's cologne i'm getting egyptian amber that's mainly what i'm getting here and a little bit of depth from matanka and oud and you get a nice woodsy base of the vanilla birch oh, this is really pretty This is so nice. The bottom is exactly the same as the top. So to me, I'm mainly getting the Egyptian Amber, a little bit of the Tonka and Oud, and the, like the base of this scent, it's giving it a little bit of a woodsy flair is the Vanilla Birch. Wow, that's gorgeous. This reminds me of, we have like a higher end home decor furniture type store called Restoration Hardware. And it's very sleek inside. It has beautiful wooden pieces of furniture and like high-end home decor. This is this reminds me of walking into that store. Like it just gives you that modern, classy but upscale vibe. Oh, this is really pretty. Wow, that surprised me. That is gorgeous. Next is Old Country Store. This is Sweet Peach Preserves Hat Hot. <laughs> I don't edit, so you're going to get all of this mess. Sweet Peach Preserves Hot Apple Pie, Warm Cinnamon, and a Slight Hint of Pine. So this sounds interesting to me. I have learned through other vendors blends that I don't always like the combination of peach and apple and spice together so I was a little bit weary of this one but like I said if anybody could blend things together and have me enjoy them it'll be Tiffany so we'll see Ooh, this is really really strong too okay so I'm getting a beautiful spiced apple pie like I'm getting the spices that are in an apple pie filling with, with the warm cinnamon Peach preserves, I'm not getting much peach. A little bit of like a syrupy sweetness, which probably is a peach preserves. Pine, I'm not getting much. I'm not getting pine. It's mainly a spiced apple, like a apple pie filling with the cinnamon and then a little bit of juiciness with, from the peach. This is pretty and it's super strong. This is really nice. This gives me the vibe of like a holiday potpourri, like in a craft store, which old country store, that makes sense. Yep, this is pretty. Yeah, I like that a lot. This is so cozy. Okay. Next is Christmas Past. This is holiday cinnamon, fallen leaves, crisp apples, crushed pine needles, and hints of sweet balsam. I really enjoy her fallen leaves oil. I love her tree oils. And then blended with holiday cinnamon, crisp, crisp apples. I'm like, how could this not be beautiful? Surprise, this isn't one I got in a tub. Mm. Oh, this is pretty. This is kind of reminding me of Bath and Body Works is the best Christmas. It doesn't have that toasted marshmallow note that that blend has, but the combination of the cinnamon and pine in here is reminding me of that. This is pretty. I'm not really getting much crisp apple on top. I'm getting holiday cinnamon, the little bit of woodsy essence from the fallen leaves, definitely crushed pine needles and sweet balsam. This is gorgeous. This is to me very similar to the perfect Christmas. But then I also got a <clears throat> scent in here that has the perfect holiday, which is supposed to be the perfect Christmas. So I'm curious how they'll be different. So yeah, not much apple. It's mainly balsam pine and like the cinnamon. This is gorgeous. It's very much like a, almost like a snickerdoodle spice of cinnamon is giving me on the bottom. This is pretty. Really like this one. You guys, this is so, this is crazy. I haven't disliked one. Or I can't even say off the top of my head what I would say would be my least favorite. It's just amazing what she does with this. I 
I've said it before and like I just feel like Teddy B's just makes me lose all sense of control and literally I'm unhinged when it comes to Teddy B's like I love everything it's just unbelievable okay last souffle is smoked ginger snaps oh my god we're already 35 minutes in smoked ginger snaps this is warm gingerbread spice cardamom charred wood roasted pumpkin and tahitian vanilla recently discovered i really like cardamom i finished a candle recently it's in one of my empties and i didn't realize i liked cardamom so much but that candle was beautiful so i'm excited to see what this smells like Mmm. okay i'm getting like the warm like the warmth from like a gingerbread cookie batter a little bit of roasted pumpkin definitely getting cardamom charred wood a little bit a little bit of charred wood this is keeping it from being just a plain flat bakery fragrance this is nice and tahitian vanilla not getting much vanilla this is a beautiful beautiful this could be warmed in the fall or you can get away with warming this in the winter to my opinion in my opinion i can't even talk guys yes this is pretty Mm. okay really like this this is something i could picture myself warming on like chris melting on christmas eve like it just gives you like that beautiful vibe that you're baking christmas cookies and you have like your you have your fireplace on it's giving you that little bit of charred wood smell and the cardamom oh this is pretty I like that a lot she killed it with these bakery blends so far this pre-order my god all right, well, well, we will go on to the tubs now. <sighs> okay. First one I have here is a repurchase for me, and this sucker got pretty beat up. <laughs> like, this is sad. This is Shadowlands. So I bought this in a tub from her last RTS, and it was so strong when I got it that I warmed it, and I really love it. So Shadowlands is earthy notes of dried pompous grass, powdery tonka bean, soft musk, and hints of warm currant. I know this could be very hit or miss for some people. I generally love earthy scents. Um, and this is something when I ordered it in the past RTS, it kind of was out of the box for me because I wasn't familiar what with what dried pompous grass smelled like or white currant, honestly. But to me, this is just a dry earthy spa type scent so when i smelled this i was like i've never smelled anything like this before it's something that's totally unique to anything i have which is part of the reason why i like it so much it's definitely a nice like i said dry earthy spa scent so you're definitely what i think is the dried pompous grass is the star of this blend you're definitely getting a soft musk but it also adds like a bit of sweetness to this to keep it from being like too dry and flat of a blend. It's hard to describe. And the white currant too. I'm not really sure what that does in blends because I haven't had it in anything else. But to me, this is, this is a dry, earthy spa type scent. It's super relaxing. I really like this. I warmed this in my bedroom and it was literally like a 9 out of 10 and went for close to two days. So this is beautiful. I really like this. I'm debating picking more of this one up because it is pretty unique and I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about it. So I'm not sure when it'll come back next. So that is Shadowlands and kudos to Tiffany for going outside of the box and killing it with this because this is so pretty. Love it. Next is Bakery in Lists. This is brown sugar, caram caramel, powdered sugar, bakery dough, sugared musk, and bottom notes of sweet woods. Love me a bakery blend. Love woodsy, so throw them together. I think this is going to be beautiful. Oh, this one's pretty strong. Okay, what am I getting? Getting brown sugar and caramel first. There is a little bit of depth in this, and I'm guessing it's the musk because it's giving it like a 
don't get me wrong this isn't a dark fragrance at all but the musk in this I believe is keeping the sh brown sugar and caramel from making this too sweet and dense of a bakery the sugared musk is just giving it a little bit of like depth a little bit of bakery dough I'm not getting any sweet wood so let's see on the bottom okay I'm definitely getting bakery dough and sweet woods on the bottom this is pretty. It's different from any bakery blend I have, so I'm excited to try this. Mmm, it's strong, so I probably will be able to melt this at like the four month mark. I'm not sure if this is something I need more of, but this is this is nice. I'm glad I picked this up in a tub, because if I got it in a souffle, I would say I probably want a bigger size. But this is pretty. So that is bakery in Liss. Next is holiday. The scent of wreaths hanging, cookies baking, winter garland, and a warm fireplace. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you open this and it's like the epitome of Christmas. How pretty is that? Ooh, I'm getting a sweetness right away. Like a berry? What is this? It's almost like a combination of cranberry and pomegranate that I'm getting. I'm getting the, the greenery notes that would be in a garland or a reef. And then I'm also getting like a juicy berry. It, it smells like a juicy cranberry and like a pomegranate, which I know pomegranate isn't technically a berry, but you know what I mean. Cookies baking, I'm not really getting. I am definitely getting like a warm woodsy type vibe in the background which must be the fireplace let's see come on oh it just shocked me and again on the bottom i'm getting the beautiful berry wreath combination and the fireplace and i do get a little bit it smells like like cookie dough on the bottom this is really nice This is pretty. I like this a lot. I'm gonna enjoy warming this. It's pretty strong given those um, reef notes in here. So I think this will be a beautiful performer. And I think I like that this is different from any other Christmas scent I have because it's more fruity and green than it is like spicy or just plain woodsy. Yeah, I like this one. That's gonna be so pretty. So that is holiday. Next is Tiff's favorite bakery, blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. I've never tried, have I ever tried her blackberry? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. So I was excited to try this one. I know a lot of people who love bakery really enjoy this one. Oh, wow. Her blackberry is like so juicy and pretty. I'm definitely getting brown sugar and blackberry first Let's see the bottom if it wants to pop out come on i don't know if this one's gonna pop out you guys it doesn't want to pop out and we're already at almost 45 minutes so i don't want to waste time but yeah this is oh gosh i dropped the lid this is like a beautiful combination of a juicy blackberry with brown sugar. Shortbread cookies. You can get a little bit of a pinch of a sweet sweetness from her shortbread cookies, which I know what they smell like from other blends. But yeah, I'm not getting any waffle cone. But predominantly, this is juicy blackberry with brown sugar. That's pretty. I'm not sure if I'll need more of this. I'll need to see how it does on warm. But I'm fine with a tub of this. I think it's really nice bakery. Next is peppermint cookies and cashmere. So excited for this one. This is peppermint sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. This is gonna be so pretty. This is honestly one I probably would want to loaf in. Let's see if I'm correct. This is so pretty. So last, was it last holiday season pre-order? She offered a peppermint butter cookie scent 
I was newer to Teddy B, so I didn't know better, but I only got a souffle of that and I absolutely loved it. And I asked for this pre-order and she put this on instead. So I was like, you know what? It's probably very comparable because it has the peppermint sugar cookies and the sugar cookie dough. It definitely is along the same lines, but you do get the cashmere and then you get the underlying like, um, you get the vanilla birch too. So this is a beautiful, beautiful blend of what that blend was plus woodsy. And a little bit of like coziness added with the cashmere cream. This is gorgeous. Wow. I really like this one. I love peppermint and I love peppermint blended with sugar cookies. And then you add vanilla birch. This is just stunning. Wow. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm so glad I got that. That is peppermint cookies and cashmere cream. Next is Oh Christmas Tree. This is balsam fir, frosted juniper, fresh sage, and whipped vanilla. Love me a tree blend, so I'm sure this is going to be one I really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... I was watching Lexi from Two Quick Wicks and she was saying that this is very similar to Under the Christmas Tree from Bath and Body Works. I believe I, I have had that candle before, but to be honest with you, I can't recall what it smelled like. So I can't, you know, I can't agree in that sense. But this is beautiful. This is like the balsam fur. So in that aspect, it reminds me of their fresh balsam, like their balsam oil. It's reminding me of <clears throat> their candle fresh balsam I am getting a little bit of frosted juniper which is keeping this like it makes it almost like you're getting like a breath of cold air sage I'm not particularly picking out but whipped vanilla I can't distinctly tell if there's vanilla in here but you could tell that it's blended in because the balsam isn't too sharp like the candle fresh balsam, it's like screaming in your face balsam. Like you feel like you're getting poked with the freaking stick of the tree. That's how, sh like it's such a sharp tree fragrance, which I don't mind. I love tree fragrances, but it's very sharp and it's an acquired taste, I think. So the fact that this is more of a smooth balsam is, you could tell that there's something added in here and that's the whipped vanilla. And then the juniper, like I said, it's almost giving it like you're taking a breath in of cold air. It's giving it like a cold air type vibe with the tree. Let's see. Yeah, same exact read on the bottom. So not much sage. I do enjoy sage in holiday scents, so maybe it'll come out on warm. But nonetheless, this is pretty. Oh, Christmas tree. <clears throat> Next is Country Christmas. This is balsam fir, butter cookies, sweet spruce with a hint of cinnamon and clove. How can you go wrong? This is, sounds like a beautiful holiday fragrance. Okay. For this having balsam and spruce, this is actually pretty light on cold. I'm definitely getting cinnamon, like a sweet cinnamon. Clove, not so much because clove to me is, it's quite spicy, but this is like a sweet cinnamon. I'm getting butter cookies for sure. A little hint of tree, but honestly, you guys, it's so light right now that it's hard for me to tell whether it's balsam or spruce. Spruce usually is a little bit sweeter and balsam is a little bit more like punch you in the face woodsy tree. Okay, the bottom is definitely you're getting... I would say it's more sweet, so it's definitely more so spruce with the cinnamon and the clove. <clears throat> this is pretty. I love that even though tree notes can be so powerful, I love that you could still detect that there is cookie in here. This is this is nostalgic to me. Like this is reminding me of Christmas growing up. It kind of makes me emotional because my childhood house, we used to host Christmas Eve every year with my cousins, my aunts, my uncle, my grandma for years, probably for like close to 20, the first 
24, 25 years of my life. And then my parents had to sell the house and move. And, um, you know, my family always says around the holidays now that my parents are in another state and stuff. Sorry, this is ramble time. But um, now that my parents are out of state and everything, we don't have that tradition anymore. And smelling this is like, just brings me back all those happy, like family memories around that time of year. So yeah, this is beautiful. I really like it. It is quite light, like I said, but I think with curing time, this is gonna be, and it's already so beautiful. I could, I think this will be a really nice performer. So that is Country Christmas. <clears throat> Next is The Night Before Christmas. This is flannel sheets, warm cashmere, and vanilla blended with the scent of Christmas trees. This is a repurchase for me. I recently finished a souffle of this and really enjoy it. So I'm someone that enjoys laundry blends. So to me, her flannel sheets is pretty. It is kind of like leans laundry, but also like a men's body care item, like that kind of scent. But then you also get the beautiful addition of the Christmas tree, which is pretty strong in here. So it's a beautiful blend of the Christmas tree with the flannel sheets oil and the cashmere kind of just blends them together beautifully. So it's not just like a strong tree with a lawn, like a laundry type blend. It just makes it nice and warm and snuggly. This is so pretty. I really enjoy this one. If you like the, um, her flannel sheets oil, like in the scent, <clears throat> dream weaver then I think you'll really like this it's beautiful I mainly warm this around nighttime um in the winter because to me it's just a beautiful relaxing nighttime blend so that's the night before Christmas next I have twisted toasted marshmallow cookies so excited to smell this one I have liked her toasted marshmallow cookies and then Mrs. Mallow's cookies and I know a lot of people wanted Mrs. Mallow's cookies to come back this pre-order, but then she um, put this one out, I guess, in its place. So this is sugar cookie dough, toasted marshmallows, spiced caramel, and birthday cake. I don't know that I've ever had spiced caramel in a blend before, so I'm curious what that'll smell like. Ooh, this is so cute. It has like green and gold. Look at that. Wow. this is pretty okay what am I getting sugar cookie dough yes toasted marshmallows yes I'm getting caramel but it doesn't smell spicy to me right now maybe after it cures a little bit definitely getting the birthday cake so beautiful combo of the sugar cookie dough toasted marshmallows and birthday cake this one definitely needs to cure um, because it's, it's quite light and I noticed that her vanilla based bakery even if I let them cure like six months they're still pretty light so this one's gonna have to wait a while for me the bottom I'm getting very heavy sugar cookie dough and a little bit more of the caramel I'm not saying this in a negative way but it definitely needs to cure more because right now it's almost giving me kind of like a Play-Doh type vibe. I know sometimes sugar cookie dough can, can read that way to me. Like vanilla bakery can read that way to me. If, if I, it needs to cure more, it can kind of come off almost like a, like a Play-Doh type scent. So it's kind of giving me that vibe a little bit. So this is definitely going to have to sit and I'll see how it, how it smells later on. So this is good. I definitely expected it to be a little more sweet with the caramel, but I think in time that'll come out more. So that's Twisted Toasted Marshmallow Cookies. Next is Cozy Lavender Cream. So this is Toasted Vanilla, Cashmere Cream, and Lavender Marshmallow. You guys, I'm a sucker for lavender. I love it in all forms. Lavender Bakery. I love Sweet Lavender, Herbal Lavender. Like, I can just melt straight up Sweet Lavender or just straight up herbal lavender and love it for me it's just always a scent that helps me just completely unwind and relax it's just so peaceful to me and I love it pretty much with whatever you blend it with I'll enjoy it so and this is like my favorite color of life so bonus points for that Ooh, okay so toasted marshmallow this is like a beautiful it 
exactly what it's like toasted marshmallow. That's what I'm getting first with the cashmere cream. Lavender marshmallow. It's very light in this, honestly. I expected the lavender marshmallow to be the star of this, but it's not. There's a little, little hint of lavender marshmallow, but to be honest, this is mainly toasted vanilla and the cashmere, which is really pretty. It's just not what I was expecting. Let's pop it out if it will let me, and maybe the bottom will have more of the uh, lavender marshmallow. Oh my God, you should see my pants. Looks like they're, I just set off like a party popper or something is like glitter all over me. Good thing I'm just in pajamas. This isn't coming out. I don't think. No, this isn't coming out and I'm already taking too long. Let me see something. Yeah, the lavender is ever so slight. So this is toasted vanilla and cashmere cream. Beautiful. This is one that's going to need to cure a while because, again, her vanilla base scents to me tend to be a little bit light if I don't let them cure it a little bit extra. So this is pretty. Not anything that I think I need a bigger size of because, you know, I'm not really getting much of the lavender and I'm afraid it might be a little light. Next, oh, I'm so excited for this. This is Jon Snow. This is another one when I saw that I had gotten this in a tub, I was like, why didn't I get this in a loaf? So this is Palo Santo, flannel sheets, creamy vanilla and mint. Love peppermint, love her flannel sheets like I just mentioned. I love Palo Santo, so this is like, this has my name all over it and I cannot believe I didn't get a loaf of this. This is probably just as amazing as I think it'll be. This is amazing. This is so nice. Okay. Flannel sheets with the mint. Definitely. And in this sense, it's reminding me of the... Um, I think before I referenced, I meant to say Dream Weaver, but I said Dream State. So forgive me on that. Um, Dream Weaver has like lavender flannel sheets and peppermint and this is reminding me of it so much only this is more of like a deeper relaxation scent just because of the palo santo you definitely get a little bit of depth and like smokiness from the palo santo which is almost making this lean like a cologne oh my god the flannel sheets and mint together i love when she puts those together they just they just smell so beautiful this is so nice beautiful flannel sheets it does give that little bit of fresh vibe fresh laundry but do not mistake this for being a laundry blend it's not it just gives it like that fresh a little bit of a fresh and clean vibe and then you get the mint and like the smokiness from the palo santo oh my god that is stunning <sighs> love that so that's john snow i need more of that in my life next is a repurchase for me this is gingerbread ice cream cake so this is sweet buttercream layered between warm white cake and vanilla ice cream topped with loads of gingerbread crumbs. So cute. Love the gingerbread vibe in here. It's just what it sounds like. And it's just like I remember it smelling like warm, gooey gingerbread batter with like a vanilla cake that you just baked. So good love this i also think this would be really pretty blended with um the twisted toasted marshmallow cookies or the witches be crazy for eggnog i think would be really pretty with this i love this in particular as a gingerbread blend because it's not too spicy of a gingerbread it's just like a nice beautiful warm gooey gingerbread so gingerbread ice cream cake Next is Trickin' and Treatin'. This one also got a little beat up, so I'm gonna have to rebag it. Purple Sugar, which is pink and blue sugar, beach treats, and vanilla cake pops. Really like blue sugar. I really love her beach treats, and I like pink sugar too. I prefer blue sugar over pink sugar, 
but the combination of them I don't think I've ever had together so we'll see oh my god how fun is that this is giving me like cotton candy vibes Ooh, this is good very very sweet Beach Treats is dominating this. That's what I'm getting, like, the sweetness from, the decadence of her Beach Treats with the vanilla cake pops. And then you're getting, like, a beautiful sh sugary sweetness. It's almost like a, it's giving me, like, a powdered sugar, which must be the pink and blue sugar together. I can't tell that each of these are in there, but you could tell that there's just, like, an extra layer of, like, sugary sweetness on top. This is really good. Is going to be a decadent, nice bakery scent. I could tell this is going to be a strong performer because her beach treats usually is pretty strong and this is super strong on cold. So yeah, I really like this one. Damn, that's good. And it's tricking and treating. I got to speed up, you guys. Oh my God, we're at an hour. I have a stack of tubs left and then I have my loaves. So this is cider cookies. This is apple Cake, donut, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. A little bit of tan and red. Whoa, this is sweet. All right, so this is reminding me of like a caramel apple. And then you're getting the spices from like, it, there's no cider in here. It says cider cookies which I guess just the cinnamon and caramel. It just smells like apple cider, but like it also, like it, it smells like I'm holding a caramel apple and have a hot cup of apple cider in, in the other hand. I'm not getting donut. It's just very sweet caramel with this um, cinnamon spice and apples. Sugar cookies, I'm not getting. See the bottom? Mm-mm. I'm not getting any of the bakery essence in this, so I'm not getting any donut or cookies. I'm just getting a beautiful, sweet caramel apple cider type scent. This is pretty. This is more of a fall type blend to me, so I'll probably hold on to this till next year. But I'm really happy I have it because I heard she doesn't bring this back a lot. So that's cider cookies. Next one is Basic Witch. This is vanilla latte, whipped coffee, roasted marshmallows, pecan waffles, and beach treats. So I really liked her blend Tiff's favorite coffee, which I also requested for this pre-order and she didn't bring it back. But then when I saw she was offering this and it's a different coffee oil and with the beach treats, I was like, this has to be good. And the name is so cute, Basic Witch. Okay. Wow. This is delicious. First of all, love the multicolored dimension glitter in here. Her coffee is so good. And I know I'm somebody that loves coffee blends and I do enjoy a lot of different vendors coffee, but the coffee in this mixed with the decadent beach treats. Oh my God. This smells like almost like roasted espresso beans. Like it's a very strong, bold coffee to me. Almost like Starbucks. Like when you walk in Starbucks, you're like smacked in the face with the scent of like <clears throat> freshly brewed, almost like espresso beans. I am getting a little bit of vanilla. It's almost, it's giving me like, almost like a vanilla cold foam type vibe. Pecan waffles, I'm definitely getting a little bit of the maple syrup. I'm not getting like a waffle scent, but I'm getting like that sweetness from like a maple syrup and the beach treats just blends this all together so beautifully this is really good if you're a coffee lover I think you will really enjoy this one that's basic witch next is Carter super excited for this one this is smoky woods campfire marshmallow white birch palo santo icy snow and vanilla so I know she was saying that this is like her Winterfell blend blended with something else, which I have Winterfell somewhere in my collection. I haven't melted it yet, but these notes to me just sounded so beautiful. So pretty. Mm. 
Campfire Marshmallow, definitely. And I've had her Fireside Marshmallows on its own and that's what I'm picking up first. Like if I didn't have a label on this and it just came like this, I would think this is the Fireside Marshmallows. <clears throat> so pretty. It's like a sweet, smoky, gooey marshmallow. White birch, I'm not getting much of. I am getting a little bit of the um, smoky woods with the Palo Santo. Snow, no. Let's see. Oh, this is so good. I'm getting more of the smoke on the bottom of this. So this is like a sweet and smoky toasted marshmallow with Palo. This is beautiful. Love it. Need one more sniff. This is beautiful. Love it. It's, it's unbelievable that I, I don't have one that I don't like. This is why I buy, uh, basically, I feel like I bought the whole list aside from maybe three or five cents. And that's because I had to limit myself somewhere. But did I really? Did I really limit myself? No, I didn't. <laughs> this is Mr. Claus. I've seen a lot of people saying how good this one is when the pre-order was going on. So I couldn't wait for this to get to me. This is Cranberry Woods Bath and Body Works type Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies and Palo Santo. So I'm very hit or miss with cranberry. It has to be like a nice juicy cranberry. Um, sometimes it can come off just very flat and bland to me and not really add much to a blend. So I'm excited to see what it does in this blend. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. I expected this to be heavy Palo, just I guess because of the name Mr. Claus. So Palo to me is more of a manly type. It gives a lot of times it gives like a manly type vibe to a scent, but I'm not getting Palo right now. Very strong on the cranberry woods, which right initially it's smelling just like a juicy cranberry, which I really like that kind of cranberry. I'm not getting any woods. I'm getting a really nice combo of the sweet, juicy cranberry with the sugar cookie. This is pretty. A little bit of Palo and the cranberry combo on the bottom, but it's predominantly cranberry woods and the sugar cookies, which I'm not mad about. I'm kind of curious how this is gonna warm, if that Palo is really gonna come out and add some depth to this, or if that's gonna happen when I let it um, let it cure a little bit if it'll come out or if it'll come out on warm. Either way, this is nice. I don't have a lot of cranberry in my collection, so this is definitely something different for me. So I'm looking forward to warming that. Well, that's Mr. Claus. Two more tubs, you guys, and then we're on to loaves. This is Santa Claus is coming to town. This is the smell of fresh baked cookies, candy canes, and Christmas trees. Not in a negative way at all, but this is a very much a generic holiday scent. And I love these types of blends. So I knew I had to try this one, especially by Tiffany, because I'm sure she just blended this beautifully. This is so good. Christmas trees, mainly I'm getting a really nice, beautiful, fresh smelling Christmas tree. And then I'm getting really nice peppermint. I'm guessing it's, it is candy cane, but it's be blended beautifully with the fresh baked cookies. So it's giving me like a peppermint sugar cookie kind of vibe blended with the Christmas tree. This is so good. <clears throat> wow. I love this. It's giving me like almost like a shortbread kind of cookie. Like a warm, freshly baked shortbread cookie with a um, peppermint sugar, with peppermint and a Christmas tree. It's like a third of each of them. This is amazing. I know this is pretty generic when it comes to holiday, but I love peppermint and I love tree and I love bakery. So this is everything that I need. <laughs> this is really nice. And last but not least for the tubs is crushed candy cane. So again, I love peppermint 
And I figure even if I have other tree blends, even if it's from a different vendor or anything, um, I always like to have just a plain peppermint to like mix and blend my own things. Or if I have just like a plain sugar cookie and I want to add peppermint, I just really like having this on hand as a blender. Um, anything I just want to add like a little peppermint kick to, I could have this to add to it. So let's see. Peppermint, sweet sugar, and candy canes. Wow. This is literally, this is reminding me of being at the Christmas parade when I was little. Santa would go by on his fire truck and they would literally launch, like launch the mini candy canes at you. And we always used to like have, you know, have your hands up to catch them and they would get squished in your hand because the impact of them flying from the truck and you catching them, they hit the street half the time first before you got them and they would always come, you would get them crushed half the time. And that's what this smells like to me. <laughs> this is more than just a peppermint blend. I'm definitely getting like, like a cold air creamy type vibe, like a vanilla cream with a peppermint. It's giving me like a cool, like a cool peppermint, like not just like a straight up peppermint oil. This is really nice. So pretty. I'm really glad I got this. I actually might consider getting more of this because I could see myself really enjoying this by itself or blending with things. So that is crushed candy cane. Whew. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. I promise. We're going to move on to the loaves and then we are done. So first one I have here, I'm super excited to smell and that is the perfect storm. This is sea spray, ocean water, citrus, damp leaves, dark amber, and oak moss. I can tell you right now, I have a handful of loaves here and only one of these I have smelled. Oh no, two. I'm sorry. Two of these are repurchases for me. The rest of them are scents that I'm smelling for the first time. But I just know that I love how Tiffany blends things and I know things that I really love. And when I read these notes... This was an automatic loaf for me. Like, I didn't even need to think twice about it. Sea spray, ocean water, citrus, damp leaves, dark amber, and oak moss. I can only imagine how beautiful this is going to be. I love aquatic. I love dark, masculine. Ugh, this is probably so nice. <laughs> this is so good. I'm almost like I'm getting almost like a like a minty essence to this it almost smells like a little bit of the vibe of like a men's aftershave like I'm getting like that minty fresh kind of vibe from a men's aftershave definitely getting sea salt like a sea spray this is dark so this is more of like a dark manly body wash type fragrance a little bit of citrus maybe that's maybe the citrus is reading like mint to me because it's definitely something in here that's like brightening it up and adding freshness to it and I guess it's the citrus oh my god dark amber definitely with the sea spray not necessarily detecting oat moss but it's definitely like a deep aquatic masculine like men's body wash type scent this is so pretty Love this. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy I picked this up. And this is something I would buy another loaf of. So we'll see if I want to be terrible in the RTS because I feel like I need more of this. It's gorgeous. Next is Vanilla Balsam and the Perfect Holiday. This is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallow, which is the perfect holiday, which is also the um, blend, the fragrance I was met referencing earlier from Bath and Body Works, the perfect Christmas. So Tiffany's version of the perfect Christmas is the perfect holiday. So that's the fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallow. And then it's layered with vanilla balsam. So layered with balsam fir, frosted vanilla and snow cap pine needles. Say less. I knew this one too. The second I saw it, this was on the list. I was like, this is going to be a low for me because I love Best Christmas, which is the perfect holiday. And I love Vanilla Balsam. 
So let's see, this, this one got a little beat up, so we'll try and pop it out because it is layered, but I'll see how well that goes. Spot on to the perfect, Chris, uh, the perfect Christmas. So pretty. She did an amazing job duping that because it's spot on. Wow, this is gorgeous. Vanilla balsam. It's just like a sweet, sweet tree blend. This is so good. These mixed together was genius because this is going to be absolutely incredible. Wow, I love it so much. Here's another one. I'll get another loaf in. Absolutely gorgeous. Winner, winner, winner for me. If you don't like tree scents, don't go for this one. This is very heavy tree with like a toasted vanilla, cinnamon, and sugar. That is stunning. That's like this and Santa Claus is coming to town, which I don't even know where it went. Oh, here it is. These are like the only two scents I would need for a holiday season. Absolutely gorgeous. Next is Salty Lavender. This is Sweet Lavender, Salty Sea Air, and Toasted Marshmallow. Like I said when I was talking about Cozy Lavender Cream, I absolutely love <clears throat> lavender blends. And I'm also a huge lover of Salty Sea Air. And then how could you not love marshmallow in sense? So this was like another no-brainer. This is so pretty. It's like giving me a mermaid vibe. Wow. Sweet lavender for sure. This is not really, this is not herbal at all. This is almost giving me the vibe of like a baby body wash, which not in a negative way at all. It's just a very soft, kind of powdery, relaxing scent to me. In this blend, the sweet lavender is reading like a powdery lavender. I'm not getting much marshmallow on the top. I'm getting like a powdery, Sweet lavender with salty sea air. And let's see the bottom if it'll pop out. I'm not getting much marshmallow. Same thing on the top as the bottom. So like a really nice, soft, gentle lavender with salty sea air. It's going to be a beautiful nighttime blend. Love it. Damn, that's good. Like it puts you in such a relaxing like state of mind smelling this. I love it. I think even if you're not a huge lavender person, if you enjoy salty sea air and you want something to, you know, kind of try for nighttime, I think you could enjoy this. Even just try a souffle, see how you like it. I think it's I think it's really nice. Next is Christmas cookies, which is the one I got the sample in. So this is an assortment of baked cookies, powdered sugar, buttercream, pine, and warm spices. Another one based on the description, I was like, I am gonna love this. So good. I'm getting like a shortbread cookie and sugar cookie dough as far as the bakery goes. Definitely getting pine. I would say this is like 75% bakery, 25% tree. Definitely, the more I smell it, I'm getting a buttercream. And you are getting warm spices, so I'm getting like a cinnamon sugar. Which is what I remember getting in the sample too. This is like really messy. So yeah, this is mainly like cookie dough. I'm getting shortbread cookies. I'm getting buttercream. And then you do get a nice bit of pine to kind of give it a little outdoorsy flair or like you're standing next to your Christmas tree baking cookies. Yeah, this is really good. So between, it's all over me, between cookies for Santa or Christmas cookies, I chose right because I do like this better than cookies for Santa. So that is Christmas cookies. Super happy with this one. All right, and the next, well, last new scent to me in loaves is balsam and cashmere. 
when I saw this, I was like, this sounds incredible. Vanilla balsam, sugar cookies, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this was a new blend for her for this pre-order. So we'll see. I think I'm going to absolutely love this. Mm, okay. Surprisingly enough, this is not as woodsy as I thought it would be. I'm getting really heavy cashmere cream. You can tell there's woodsy notes in here because you can get a little bit of um, like a tree type scent. I can't really distinguish if it's the birch or the balsam that I'm smelling. Sugar cookies, not on top. I'm mainly getting cashmere cream with a little bit of like a woodsy tree. And let's try the bottom. Oh my God, these are so messy. I'm making such a mess. Let's see. Okay, the bottom... I'm definitely getting more of the vanilla balsam and a little bit of sugar cookie. But surprisingly enough, usually tree scents are very strong, but she did a beautiful job at blending this because I'm getting a beautiful cashmere cream mainly from this. This is really pretty. I don't know if I would need more of this, but it's definitely gorgeous. And I think the longer it sits, the more the tree notes are going to come out. <clears throat> but I'm really happy with this one. And I think even if you're not a huge tree fan, but you love her cashmere, which I do, I think you could still enjoy this. So if you are looking to dip your toe into the, the tree type blends, um, I would definitely say this is a safe one to try because she's just so good at blending that you're mainly getting the cashmere with a hint of the tree. So that's balsam and cashmere. And then, I think I have glitter in my nose. The last two loaves I have are repurchases. This one, I'm so happy, came back. This is Witches Be Crazy for Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Love her Witches Be Crazy. And I also love her Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I've had this before in a souffle. And when I tell you that this was a 10 out of 10 throw, this was so strong and I was so happy with this. So when I saw she was bringing this back, I had to have a loaf of it. This is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla, which is the Witches Be Crazy, blended with cupcakes at Tiffany's, which is crispy toffee, hints of chocolate, sweet sugar, buttercream, and vanilla cake. Let me just take a second to, it's like beautiful teal glitter on there. It's just as good as I remember. Just amazing, decadent, sweet, bakery whereas like surfside sweet shop is more of like a dense rich vanilla bakery this is just as dense in the bakery aspect only this has a little bit more depth because you have the toffee you have the chocolate this is just so good you get a little bit of the pecan waffles from the witches be crazy it's just so good it's just a decadent delicious rich bakery a little bit of chocolate. You are definitely getting chocolate from the cupcakes at Tiffany's, but if you're afraid of chocolate, this may not be for you, but honestly, blended with all the other things like the pecan waffles, their birthday cake, the buttercream, the toffee, like it's not, the chocolate doesn't scream at you. This is just amazing. Love it. So happy to have this back in my life. Just such a good staple bakery. I think even if you have just which I could probably blend this with another tree oil or scent and have this oil like I'm a, like I'm blending wax. I could probably blend this with another tree fragrance and I think it'd be absolutely beautiful. You guys, I, could, I think I have like glitter all over me because I can't stop itching my nose. All right, last but not least, this is a tried and true. This is a staple for so many and one that so many love. And I'm pretty sure this was the highest selling blend out of the pre-order. She sold out of tubs in this. And this is Christmas Trees and Cream. I debated getting two loaves in this, but I decided to rein it in and get one. So this is Fresh Pine, Vanilla Waffle Cone, and Rich Butter Cream. This one looks pretty beat up and rough. But, let's see. This is just amazing. 
a beautiful 50-50 blend of fresh pine and the bakery. You definitely get the rich buttercream, you get the pine, you get a little bit of crunchiness from the waffle cone. The vanilla makes it warm. This is just so, so good. Definitely a holiday staple for me. Not even holiday, I could warm this all winter long. I honestly might get another loaf in this because I love it so much. This will be really pretty too, layered with crushed candy cane. So I think this will be really, it's always gonna be something I'll repurchase when she offers it. And it's a fan favorite for a reason. This is another tree blend that if even if you're not crazy about tree, you could try this and I think still really appreciate it because the pine is really toned back with the bakery in here. That's beautiful. You guys, that is everything. Oh my God, we're just shy of an hour and a half. So I would sit here and pick out my favorites, but I honestly would have to re-sniff some of them to be able to tell. But you guys, there is not one blend in this order that I don't like. I know I have a wide uh, wheelhouse when it comes to fragrance. So there isn't much that I don't like. So I am just thrilled with everything. I'm gonna have to sit and re-sniff all these and decide if I'm going to participate in the RTS and if I am, which I have no willpower, I'm pretty sure I will. If I am, which select things I'm going to get more of. It's going to be so hard to narrow down. There's just so many amazing blends in here. But thank you guys so much for sticking with me for almost an hour and a half. That's insane. I mean, I knew this was going to be a long video going into it, but um, it, I'm just ecstatic with everything. I have so loved watching everybody's videos and hauls. Um, even if you don't post videos, comment down below. Let me know what your favorites were from this pre-order. And if you're participating in the R RTS, if you are, what you're looking forward to grabbing more of. Um, if you haven't shopped her RTSs before, just go into it with the mindset of you're going to get what you're going to get. And don't let yourself get stressed out about it because they're really fast paced. They're, you know, things fly out of your cart and... Just go into it with the mindset of, you know what, if I get it, I do. If I don't, I don't. And she's going to have another pre-order by, I think, mid-January, she said. So those are the, that's the time to really take your time and decide. Her RTS really <clears throat> can be stressful. So that's usually why I go so big in her pre-orders because I don't have to worry about the stress of the RTS and missing something. And I figure if I don't love anything or find I'm not really going to melt a whole loaf of something. I have plenty of friends who love teddy bees. I have my sister. I have other people I could pass things on to, so I'm not really too concerned about picking up too much because I know there's always somebody around that'll love something if I'm not gonna get to it. <clears throat> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm sure we'll be chatting in the comments. Take care, stay safe, bye.